Welcome back to more Legacy of the Void. So we are up to Moebius Corpse, level 2. Trying to get our artifact. Moebius Corps is making their way to Bennett Port with the artifact. We gotta stop them before they get away with it. Let me guess, there's gonna be a tight time limit to get to them before they get away. But our new unit on this one is the Immortal. So that should pop up on the third slot, because that's an IR unit. Moby's corpse detected. Door. Siege tanks. Keystone located. 15. McGuffnium. Available. Probably going to be on three bonus objectives for five each. Like before. We gotta get all of that shit, because we want to power up our ship as soon as possible. I'm not a fan of these hybrids, though. The Zerg are my monsters. I don't need another type of monsters. They just look like Zerg to me. Zerg or Zelnaga, I don't tell the difference. It's a monster. You shoot it. Your Terran allies will aid you in this battle. Attack alongside them to reclaim the Keystone. Please, no time limit. We already had one in the last level. Welcome to Bennett Port. At least what's left of it. Mobius Corps entrenched themselves here to keep us from the artifact. Valerian's setting up his base now. Once he gets... Ugh. Raynor, what is happening? The hybrid are channeling void energy into the Keystone. The resulting psionic disruption has overwhelmed the Terrans. Deploy our immortals. We need heavy assault to protect these Terrans until the disruption subsides. Man, that's two I owe you, Artanis. Felt like I was losing my damn mind. The Keystone is recharging, Commander. They will surely activate it again soon. Thought it targeted Zerg, not humans. They change it? Let's lock and load, partner. Right. So we got Jim. Rainers, Rainers up here gonna help us out. We can construct immortals from the robotics facility. They are quite effective at sieging enemies or defending our allies. Next disruption in three minutes. All right. My boys are taking this fight to Mobius Corps. Once you got your defenses in place, bring the heat. Every time they fire that, Jim's, all of Jim's stuff is going to turn off. It'll be completely helpless. This disruption has hit my forces hard. We've taken heavy casualties, and we're going to need more time to establish our fortifications. Do what you can to keep them at bay. Already on it. Your position will be secure till they fire off that keystone again. I don't know if I'll be able to defend both of them. Which one will get hit? Keep making them workers. I don't think two immortals is going to be enough to save you guys. Hierarch, several of our Dominion research facilities are reporting that they are under attack. If you can rescue them, I'll return any Protoss technology they've collected to you. Why would we, we, we don't need that shit? We just want the McGuffinium. Got a minute and twenty seconds. Centurion. The Dark Templar units will be darker. That's why they're called Dark Templar. But it's calling them Nerizim. It's basically Dark Templar. You have not enough minerals. If we get a power node up here, I could just pour it in shit. We're going to be hard pressed to defend this guy. Ah, it is autocast. Fantastic. The Keystone is emitting powerful energies. I expect it will fire again soon.
It's a fun campaign. Despite how much I... That's coming from me, the guy who dislikes Protoss the, the most. Uh-oh. All these guys are off, too. Hybrid. Oh, wait, does that turn off his Mobius unit? His Terran units, too. So that means that almost nothing will be able to attack. His shit is off, too. Only the Protoss and the Hybrids can move. Which is this shit. I think all that missed. Looks like it's not going to last too long. Got his shield up. I think they activate it when their first shield breaks. Shit, they're attacking us again. This unit has a good impact on this attack. Commander, our forces are ready. The Dominion is engaging Mobius Corps. Alright, Terrence, you're coming back on. We don't have forges. I got a nice food boost. Sights upon our nexus. Prepare for battle. All will worship or be forever silent. There they go. We have liberated a Dominion facility. Oh, can't believe we made it out alive. Some of our medics will stay behind in case you need them. Yeah, we do need them. Expansion, oh my god. They're going to let us expand in this one. That means I don't have to dig for change under the couch like that other mission and attack with goddamn workers to finish the level. Because that, you know, that's all I had left. I don't have a forge. I thought I built that. Get me a goddamn forge. Could really use warp gates on this one. Because we need to we need to be able to poof in. On the Terrans. The Keystone is reaching full power, Hierarch. We will need to defend our allies from the hybrid once more. Looks like they're going south this time. Get down there. We don't 
want to lose this base either. But isn't his stuff off? His shit is off too. The Keystone's disruption is also affecting the Mobius core. We should attack them once our allies are safe. Wham. Back up. See if he'll chase us up here. Come get it, asshole. Wish you guys could shoot while you're moving. Because, you know, the Diamondbacks from the Terran can do that. Ibuprofen. Yeah, I kind of like these sea lots a bit more. Oh, probably help if I had that on there. Okay, I need. I want more of these. Where's my cybernetics? I keep thinking that I've built shit and I really haven't. I don't think I have to worry about this base too much. We got plenty of money coming in. It's the beauty of having a damn expanse, you have money. that there. That's where I want to put it. You know, I got towers back here, you guys. Could just use them. Definitely liking the dark sea lots more. Can't attack flying. fight that shit on theirs. The Keystone is about to emit another disruption, Nova. The Terrans will be incapacitated while the disruption is active. bases here. That's about as far as we're going to push up right now. Is there something in this? We could just build defenses on them. We march to victory. It is destined. I 
He's coming over here. Getting some immortals too. Alright, here he comes. The problem is that these beams are not instant. Against moving targets, the, the laser will just mess. Portal and the immortals because they come off the robotics facility. I feel your presence. We march to victory. We got this. We got numbers now. Also got our attack. Dark there for a while. Good thing you've got our backs. We've broken their defenses. Let's get some bunkers out there. All right. to the secondary objective up here. It's actually going to move up defenses. Might want to save our mana. Sell Naga. We're still getting the armor upgrade, but the shield is more meaningful, so we get that first. Thank you for your help. Our last science vessels are on their way to the front Oh, line. science vessels. Sweet. You can actually repair me. We shall suck Man. I would love to have fucking science vessels following my Dragoon Force around. That is like the best benefit. Shit. Get the fuck out of here. My house. Just notice we don't have any workers in here. Or there. When you're mixing races, the multiplayer, I mean, you can have the Terran guy fix the Protoss guy's shit. You can also medic the Zerg. You roll some medics with the damn pack of Hydralis. But it's pretty funny to see the humans repairing it damn Protoss. They can't fix their own shit, but the quote primitive humans can repair the Protoss technology. I'm detecting a significant energy spike. They can't fix their own the shit, but will emit another disruption Nova the, the Terrans can fix it. It just, I find that hilarious. And that's why I refuse. SCVs. Establish a fortification line here. That's why I don't view the, the Protoss as superior. Damn, he's going north. My army is south. So we to start moving up here. We should be able to stop him now. We're going to plow our way up there. We should get there in time. I like these dark sea lots, they look cool. We're short on mana. 49, 50. However, this is not the only wave though, so we might still want to wade. 
think they attack with two or three groups. These seem to be the weaker ones. I'm ready for the next wave. We're doing fine. We're just gunning this guy down now. He's done. Forge ahead to the Keystone's location. We march to victory. If you want to have a matching army, you could go with all light or all dark, but I would much rather have the Battle Dragoons over the Derpy Stalker. We don't need the blink. This doesn't get me easier. Time to take them out. So if the Keystone was capable of being used as a weapon against other Terrans, then why didn't we just use it against our Dora's Minks? I mean, we could have let Kerrigan do that, and it would have hit all the humans, and not her Zerg, presumably. Dump us a pile on here. We don't really care if we lose that. We need to get to the science vessel. However, you get down here. Push the battle line forward. This is a fun map, and it's not too much of a dick with the time limit like that other one. Oh hell no! This this we don't like. Get the siege tanks. Actually, it's attacking my shit, too, not just the other guys. We got Jem up north and Valerian south. Almost everyone died. Just a few medevacs left. I'll send them to support the Emperor's forces. Emperor Valerian, we have secured all of the threatened facilities. I promise you, I won't forget this kindness, Hierarch. Fortunately, the over, I mean, the immortals have to walk up there the old fashioned way. We <laughs> got a bottleneck here. Humans piling up on one side, dragoons piling up on the other. Powerful energies. I expect it will fire again soon. Get rid of the damn siege tanks. Siege tanks are a goddamn problem. Hope is always a lie. I've never disputed that. There's a white dot over here. You just carry a damn worker up here. He can spawn pilots for us without using mana. It's going to take him a while to get here. And it's always two attack groups, it seems. We have survived the hybrid's assault. 
Continue onward, warriors. This will give us what we need. Our duty is Take my artifact back. I could make zealots, but we have plenty of gas. Dragoons are where it's at. Uh, get real tired of that. Let's give them a taste of the pain. The pain. Siege tank over here. We're not just going to let that thing snip away at us. Time you build it, the level's going to be over. Our pylon is under attack. G G. Well, that did it. We pushed Mobius Core back. Well, she wasn't trying to. She honestly just went after Minx. That's all she cared about. If you people would have black bagged him and sent him over, she wouldn't even have bothered to attack the city or planet. That's what should have happened. That's what would happen if aliens came to Earth and demanded Donald Trump. You could bet he'd get black bagged and sent up and they just send his ass over. Even the people who voted for him would do that. If it meant saving the rest of us. I mean, that's just smart. But she never thought to make such an offer. shouldn't be on the ground like this, Emperor Valorian. They're gonna get sniped by someone from Mobius. That random hippie you don't know. Although he is one of your people, so... Did you know this warrior? No. But I know his story. I know all their stories. They got drafted? None of them ever think it'll end like this. Rather that than old age. Reports been coming in from all over. Dominion worlds overrun. Outposts destroyed. A lot more dead boys out there. Warriors. Death is the fate of all warriors. A fate we too may soon embrace. Better to burn out than fade away. Fate ain't written, Artanis. Way I see it, if Zeratul believed you could make a difference in all this, then this fight's just begun. It is your custom to shake the hand of a friend. Is it not? Give him hell, Artanis. He 
still have a third mission to do for Mobius. The cutscene implies this is coming to an end, though. For the Alliance! Achievement. Oh, hard five. I guess I am getting hard achievements. We need to hear more enemies affected by the disruption. So we have to kill enemy Mobius while they're stunned. How many did I get? Stunned enemies destroyed 53. Well, if I hung around and just cleared around on the map, I easily could have gotten that. But I just went for the objective, so... There was plenty more on the map to kill, I just didn't do it. Because I couldn't really care less about achievements on Battle.net. I don't even care about achievements on Steam, which is my own platform. Rohana. Preserver. Rohana. Archimus. Amon. I see your doubt, your fear. You were so alone, mewling in the darkness. Let me release you, all of you, from the suffering of this life. are little more than poison, Amon. Your actions bring nothing but death. They bring purpose, an end to a cycle not within had chosen. As opposed to your cycle? We would rather choose our current existence than your slavery and death. So much for her resisting corruption, huh? It... It has passed, Hierarch. Pain is gone. Do you see now why you must separate from Makala? Its light has faded. I will keep him at bay. I will endure. I have felt his rage, seen his truth. If you will not sever your connection to the Kala, then you will be contained, kept in stasis. Why is it a choice? I the Kala however I must. If I must endure imprisonment, so be it. Why don't you just hold her down and cut her hair tear off by force? Why bother to give her a choice? Just slice it off whether she likes it or not. Although, I'd rather you just cut her head off instead. Because <laughs> she's a dumb bitch anyway. But anyway, let's take a look at our ship. Looks like we haven't unlocked anything new. And, oh, it won't let us go higher than 2020 on board. But I don't care about these other things. Although, I can get it up to here now. This allows you to get a pylon with units instead of just a pylon for the same cost, 75. This is just a pylon. Pylon with two melee and two ranged, whatever units you selected. I like that. Definitely a winner. We'll go with... I think a pylon is six food. This gives you five food. Neither of these are going to make much of a difference. We'll just go with that one. The construction time only matters up until your buildings are completed, whereas the food will always matter, and I just don't need to build as many pylons. But we're just dumping there, so it's just a dump. That way you have somewhere to put it instead of just sitting on it. Look here, Hierarch. This material self-regenerates. It is no wonder the research of the Terrans claimed it to be from a recent epoch. 
My projections place it at several billion years old, if not more. Zeratul's vision said that this keystone can guide us unto hope. What do you think it means? Yes, guide us. It is a code wanting to be cracked. The keystone seems to be able to manipulate energies, but that may not be its sole purpose. I believe it stores its origin point within. Its origin point? Yes, I promise you. I will find out how this will lead us to the Zelnaga. Redouble your efforts, Karax. There is little time. But didn't Zeratul already find out where Amon was? Why don't we just go there? I could see the truth of Amon while he spoke through me. He claims his cause is noble, but only darkness and rage fester with him. Just like every terrorist. Robotic assault units can now be added to our army, Hierarch. So now we have our assault unit. I return to serve. We can either go with the uh, ire unit. That's the immortal. When the shield is broken, they throw up barrier, which is basically a second shield. Lasts for 10 seconds, 60 second cooldown. So they're very good at taking punishment. They deal bonus damage to armored units such as siege tanks and heavy infantry, which are fire bats and marauders, but not hellions. Most vehicles, but not Hellions. Increases the amount of damage absorbed by the Immortal's Barrier by 100%. So that means that it would be 200 now. The Barrier... Up until this point, you just had that. But now, we get double Barrier. Or we can go with the Dark Templar version, Annihilator. Shadow Cannon deals 200 damage. Target unit or structure. 45 second cooldown, which is pretty long. If that auto casts, I'm going to be quite happy with it. Does this still attack air? The unit? Maybe I should look at that window up there. Is there any flying enemies? Oh, wait a minute. The Immortals don't attack air anyway. But that ability can probably attack air. Yeah, they just fire down Mutilus. Bonus damage to armored units. So basically, this is the damage version. Looks kind of like a scorpion with this back on it. The Immortal is more of a tank. I return to serve. I'd love to pilot one of these. It's a four-legged mech, but... I wish four-legged mechs were a thing. I do. Other than a secret unlock in Mech Warrior 2, I don't know of any any of those where you can actually do a four-legged mech. Be nice. I'll try it out. If that shadow cannon is auto cast, I'm, I'll be happy with it. If it's not, then I'll probably go back to the immortal because I'm not going to take the time to target that. So we got two out of three on green now. I'm not going with the Nerizim on this one because I'm not going to be bothered to use that blank. And we don't need it. Jagoon is the, the tough unit. Uh, hey there! Your royal ness? Man, this is weird. I've never talked to no You're making it weird. before. <laughs> hey. If I have learned one thing from your commander, Raynor, it is that we are not so different, Rory Swan. We are different in every Continue possible way. Right. So, the artifact, uh, the, uh, the keystone thingy's all yours. We're in the middle of transmitting all our data to your engineer. You have my thanks. Please relay my appreciation to Commander Raynor. Hey, you got it, Skippy. Skippy? That's how I would react, Skippy, question mark. Cowboy? Uh, whatever. So that's mission two down. We 
back for Mobius Corpse Part 3, the next one.